Hey guys, this is Pondo checking in once again from the garage gym. Today is uh, May 28th, 2015. Um, first off, I wanted to start by saying uh, for all you guys who are new to my channel, for those of you guys who subscribed within the last month, um, thank you guys for you know tuning in. Uh, and definitely I have a lot more cool content to bring, um, especially now that I'm in my new garage gym. Today is, um, it's, it's not going to be a workout day, it's not going to be any type of that. It's more of an update video slash uh, tutorial video on how I go ahead and make my um, weightlifting platform. I get a lot of questions, especially in my videos, about how, you know, what my platform is uh, made of, how much it costs, how to do it, how to build it. It's actually fairly simple, as you can see. It's, um, it's an 8 foot by a 16 foot platform. It doesn't, uh, you, you can basically get any, everything, almost everything you need from the hardware store. Personally, I got mine from Lowe's. Um, on the top, you can see there's two uh, four by eight pieces of plywood. Uh, it's like, you know, the more expensive model, uh, maple or redwood or anything like that. Just something that looks pretty. All you need is two up top, four by eight. And in the bottom, as you can see right here, there is uh, four four by eights laid in a rectangular pattern. Um, in the bottom pieces of the wood, you, know, you want it to be just as thick as the top layer. I mean, it's not uh, mandatory, but um, the thicker the wood, the more protection you do have for the cement underneath or the underlayment, whatever flooring you have. Um, personally, I use the, uh, the cheaper wood. Um, the difference in price between the, the top layer and the bottom layer was about double. Uh, I paid about $22 for, per piece for the bottom layer wood. It's a 4x8 uh, uh, three fourths inch thick wood, and then the top layer I paid about around fifty dollars, and it was worth it. Um, definitely, you're going to be seeing the top layer. The bottom is just there for protection purposes. So all in all, you know, you got eight pieces of wood. The bottom is about twenty dollars each times four, so it's eighty, and the top layer I paid about fifty. So, it, all in all, I paid about hundred and eighty dollars for all the wood I got from Lowe's. It's, it's pretty heavy. Um, highly suggest that you go ahead and get some. Uh, somebody with a truck or if you don't have one or or you have it shipped over um, On the top as you can see right here um, Since the platform is 16 feet long. I was able to purchase three uh, four by six stall mats um, For all of you guys who are familiar with stall mats are they're kind of like the the you know run of the run of the mill gym flooring that you find you could find it at um, tractor supply company a lot of reputable um, gym equipment companies also sell it they go roughly for about $50. I had to buy three, and uh, specifically what I did was I cut them down the middle, down the middle in half. Um, two of them, which, you know, as you can see, there's um, a total of uh, 16 feet, so two of them would only make 12 feet since it's four by six cut in half. So I had to get a third one in which I cut in half, but I also only cut uh, a four foot section of it, which makes it a total of 16 feet. Um, you got to make sure they line up properly. You got to make sure you cut them uh, well because, you know, it'll definitely show down the line. Um, underneath the, uh, the the stall mats, as you can see right here, I put some carpeting. Um, the reason I put some carpeting here, it's a little secret, is the fact that most garage gyms or garage in general have a 2% ground downgrade, which means that the bar will roll away from you out into the, uh, you know, out the garage door if you don't level level the playing field per se. Um, I use the, the carpet um, at the end so that when the bar rolls away, it stops right when it hits the carpet. It's a really good, it's a really sweet trick, um, especially if you're really annoyed by the, uh, the whole, you know, the, down, the downhill slope of a garage gym when you're doing deadlifts or Olympic weightlifting. Um, it was, me and my brother, you know, my brother helped me a lot. I moved out from his house um, about a month ago. I bought my new house, as you can see right here. This is my new garage gym. I did a lot of work to it. Um, I'm sorry guys it took so long for me to start making my videos again but um, you know the moving moving process uh, definitely life takes its toll uh, by you know you definitely have a lot of things on my plate at the time so you know I, I did have a well needed much much needed rest away from the gym and um, so you know now I'm back after a month of a hiatus per se but you know my body definitely needed it uh, my mind definitely needed it now I'm back into the gym, into my garage gym setting, um, hungrier than ever for, you know, more PRs and stuff like that. Um, 
So this is going to be, you know, a series of videos uh, chronicling how I'm going to be uh, creating my garage gym. Today is the first of many. Um, definitely not going to be a finished product by the end of this video. As you can see, there's still a lot of work to do. I was able to bring back the red. Um, you know, if you've been following my videos for quite some time now, um, red was definitely a favorite color of mine. My last garage gym was at my brother's house. So I wasn't necessarily able to do many of this things that I wanted to do here. And uh, also, you know, I this time around, I have three bays dedicated for my garage gym. Um, the specs in my garage, for those of you interested, it's a three bay, three bay garage, so it's 30 feet wide and 20 feet long, uh, nine foot ceilings. Um, you know, so here I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did. I put my bar holders in front of the water heater, uh, kind of hides that eyesore. It looks pretty cool, actually. Um, the gym is front dead center on top of the, the weightlifting uh, platform I just, I just made. Um, this, the layouts are similar. I definitely have a lot more room for my GHD and stuff like that. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. Uh, check back on my channel for more videos. And uh, please like, subscribe, and con comment if you have any questions. Thanks guys for watching and uh, glad to be back. See you guys next time.